G'day, mates. What's going on? It's been a while since I just sat here and talked with you guys. There's a ton of stuff happening right now, and it, it felt weird for me not to talk about it. Usually, when uh, I start getting my Twitter blown up by people screaming at me, Have you seen this? Have you seen that? Probably about time I actually talked about some of it. And there's a ton. The Switch just had a massive update. On top of that, huge eShop sale happening right now, and even a sale on the Switch. Well, actually, it's even better than that. It looks like the Switch's price is dropping. The, the console is getting cheaper. Can you believe it? N64 might be coming to the Switch, uh, but the biggest thing, which probably made you click on the video if I went with that for the title, is a Nintendo Direct is on the way. And that's just not... That's just not me saying that because I wanted you to click on the video. No, it... it more than likely, there will be one because... There always is. I mean, they're not done. There will be another one. And usually we get one in September. Before we talk about anything, I, I want to get a couple of things out of the way. One, if you want to meet me, you can. You'll have two opportunities this year. I'll be in Philadelphia for too many games. And same goes for October. I'll be right here in Texas uh, for Retropalooza. And I'll have a panel there as well. You can come say hi. Just do me a favor. We're in like an awkward place right now with the world. If you're going to come see me, please wear a mask. Usually I'll, I'll give you a big old hug. But it's just, it's already dicey as it is. We'll just, we'll stand a little far apart awkwardly. Even more awkward than these interactions end up being and we'll, we'll just talk and we'll have a good time that way a nintendo direct is most likely on the way and not just because arlo has been screaming about it on twitter oh wait hold on before we get to anything i need to show you guys yeah all right some of you might have heard that i'm an idiot and i broke my switch i've used that for clickbait a, a couple of times in the past but it's real this time i messed up <laughs> I, I, I messed up i but i i don't completely blame me. <laughs> I blame a faulty product not doing what it was supposed to do. Wh when you see this video get uploaded to YouTube, this is the thumbnail for it. Uh, watch it if you want more context here. I bought some products off Amazon and one of them failed me. We'll just, we'll just leave it there. And then I went live on Twitch that night with a stream and everyone was screaming at me to take the battery out. Like, like the, like the console was going to explode or something if I didn't get that battery out of there ASAP. And I said multiple times, I'm not the guy. I'm not the guy to do that. Don't know how. Uh, never opened my Switch like that before. Actually, before we figure out whether or not this thing still works, I want to let you know that this video is sponsored by Square Enix. Yeah. That's Square Enix. If you played and loved Nier Automata, you're in luck because the newest title in the Nier series just released on the App Store and Google Play. It's called Nier Reincarnation and it's completely free to play. It's an action command RPG that features turn-based battles. You play as a girl who awakens in a strange place filled with vast pathways and buildings. Guided by a mysterious ghostie called Mama, you begin your adventure meeting new characters and collecting and upgrading your loadouts. The combat plays a little bit like Xenoblade, with auto attacks and abilities you can trigger when they come off cooldown. Since the game passed 600,000 pre-registrations, all players will receive enough gems to complete 15 summons for free, as well as a bunch of valuable materials to enhance your character. So now's the time to start logging in and claiming those daily reward bonuses. Help support my channel, click the link below and download for free to play the newly released Near Reincarnation and enjoy the Near Replicant collaboration until October 7th. And then I woke up this morning in our watch people die inside. Sparkles of a dead soul. I <laughs> I am dead. I like I one I do love how dead inside I I am. Not even look, I am. Because I realize in this moment what exactly what I've done and how stupid I am. But I also know that I'm doing it because of everyone in chat. And you can see the look I give the screen. And you know exactly who I am looking at. <laughs> it's like a piercing gaze. And then I just, I'm just done. I, I ended the stream like 10 seconds later. I was, I was done. I do find all of this humorous. I mean, I hate that all of it happened and I'm very frustrated with myself. 
but uh i mean i was i was dying laughing at myself on stream with how dumb i was for thinking what i was trying to do was going to work Yay. <laughs> that definitely seems like water got in it <laughs> you can tell on my face already you can look see the look on my face I know I messed up right here. So sadly, I actually haven't been able to test a lot of the new stuff on Switch. Uh, on that same stream, we did take a look at the Bluetooth that Nintendo have added. This makes no sense to me. You're telling me that the Switch, your Switch that you have at home right now, has had Bluetooth in it this whole time? I thought the Switch didn't have Bluetooth, period. But apparently it does have it, and that's how the Joy-Cons connect. The, uh like a modified version of Bluetooth or something. And now almost five years into the Switch, Nintendo decided to just turn that on so that you could connect earphones to it. We connected on stream my Raycons to it and yeah, it works great. I mean, it took two attempts to find the Raycons, but it works great. Also, they added a ton of other features randomly. It was a pretty big update. There's a load on there. Like apparently now when the Switch is in sleep mode, you can keep connected to the internet for updates and stuff. So it'll update your games while it's asleep, which is better than going to play a game that you think you're gonna have fun with for an hour. And then, oh no, sorry, you gotta update for 30 minutes. Uh, And then there was another interesting one, an update for the dock. Switch lights don't have this, but the regular Switch, you can force the dock to update. It doesn't work with the old dock. It's specifically for the new OLED one that's coming with a LAN port, which is interesting. Without reading too much into it, it seems like the new dock is going to get updates periodically and you'll be able to update your dock. I mean, why? I, well, by the way, perfect time to destroy, utterly destroy my Switch uh, because I am getting a new one here in a few weeks. There'll be a much bigger update about this broken Switch, by the way. I'm going to drag this out as much as I can, but well, yeah, watch the video if you want to see what I did. Why is Arlo trying to call me right now? Hey, Alu, what's up? Not very much. You want to be on my, uh, what do you call it, uh, podcast, the thing? <laughs> sure. What, this, this weekend? Yeah, sometime. Okay. Did you see I broke my Switch? <laughs> you broke your Switch? Why? You didn't see that? Go to my Twitter. Go to my Twitter. Um, it, my Switch was literally on fire. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm an idiot. But yeah, I'll be on your podcast. I'll talk about it on the podcast. Alright. Okay. Sounds good. Okay, bye, buddy. Bye. <laughs> um, where where was I? <laughs> it doesn't matter. Let's move on. Whatever, it, whatever I was talking about, it doesn't matter. Okay, there is a huge eShop sale right now, and I want to look at the sale with you guys and show you some of these prices. Like, everything's like 80% off, 90% off, but speaking of Switch being cheap, in Europe right now, you may have heard about this. I'm late to everything. I only heard about it today. Nintendo dropped the price of the Switch by 30 euros, which is $35 uh, US. The the Not the OLED and not the Switch Lite, just the Switch, the normal one, is going to be $35 US dollars cheaper in Europe. They said it was because of just the way the importing, exporting situation, I don't know. Just in Europe specifically, they said it just made sense to make it cheaper. Well, also, Nintendo just didn't need to do this. Like... Clearly, it seems like they found room in the budget to make the Switch cheaper, and they were like, yeah, let's do it. The Switch is... I mean, we know. I said it in the last video. It sold over 90 million units. It's selling fine. Nintendo didn't need to drop the price. There was, there's no reason. They could have just left it at that price. People wouldn't have said anything. I mean, we all accepted that the OLED was $50 more for almost no reason. I mean, it's just a wit. Nintendo doesn't often do things that's like, well, that's actually pretty nice. Thank you. And this is one. So now the question is, will the US and Australia and other places see a price drop for the Switch? Hopefully, um, that would be nice uh, for me right now. If I have to rebuy the Mario Red one. If you're not checking this best sellers tab like every other day, you should be. Actually, not best sellers, great deals. You should be, because there's always insane price drops in here. And right now, like, they're all, like, 50 to 80 to... I've even seen 95% off. Xenoverse 2 is 85% off. 
Uh, Little Nightmare, 75% off. Nino Kuni, 75% off. So Tales of Vesperia is 75% off. Dragon Ball Fighters is 85% off. Some of these Lego games, again, 75% off. God Eater 3, a little bit of a gem on the Switch, is 80% off. It's only $12 right now for that whole game. This is actually a pretty solid fighting game. I like the My Hero 1 Justice 2 fighter, and that's 65% off. So yeah, you really should be checking this tab every day, uh, but there's... There's usually always big sales, but right now there's another one going on, so give that a look. And hey, if you need tips for uh, good eShop games and you want to see if any good ones are on sale, I have a whole series of videos about that. So the reason why a lot of people are freaking out thinking the N64 is coming to the... There's actually a bunch of reasons why they think they're getting N64 Virtual Console. It's kind of a best guess, but it's looking like something is coming to the Virtual Console. It could still be Game Boy or GBA or something, but the reason why now it's looking like it's probably a home console virtual console port thing is because a new pattern for a Nintendo Switch controller appears to be on the way. And it's a similar pattern to what we saw when the NES and the SNES came to the Switch online and they had the NES and SNES special edition controllers that you could buy to play the games. And the fact that it's a controller makes you naturally think NES, SNES, well, 64 has to be next. Which is very exciting if this happens. Um, for me specifically, because I love NES and SNES, but 64 just had some gems, didn't it? Like this could mean, and I don't see why it wouldn't mean, we could finally get Ocarina of Time on Switch, even if it's just the old one, not the remastered 3DS version, fine. But we could finally see Ocarina's, Majora's Mask, your Banjo games, which, I mean, we have Banjo in Smash now, may as well put the Banjo games on Switch. I mean, you name it, like, leave it down below. I mean, old school Pokemon Snap, Pokemon Stadium, it opens so many options and gives you so many more games to play either on your own or with friends. And then that all leads into, like everything we just said leads into the Nintendo Direct, right? Because so much has happened or could be about to happen that it makes sense Nintendo would want to do a Direct and reveal all of this, as well as No More Heroes has come out, Monster Hunter Stories 2 has come out, we're going into the tail end of the year and we're not really sure, I mean, WarioWare also just came out, so really now the big games that we had this year that we knew were coming and we were looking forward to have come and gone, and now it's just a question of what's next, and usually when you're left wondering what's next, that's when a company needs to come out and tell you what's next. We just had that with the PlayStation event, which I reacted to on Twitch if you care to see that reaction. And I guess to sum it up, I really liked it. There was some cool games, Spider-Man and Wolverine, I can't wait. Also, Forspoken looks really good. And I've been hearing a lot of good things about Deathloop, but I still haven't played it. But yeah, we were, we were needing some PlayStation news and we got some PlayStation news. Right now we're needing Nintendo news on software and, and the games that are coming. And it's September and we usually get a direct in September. That's kind of been a pattern for a long time now. So uh, the stars are aligning there, but look at everything we've talked about. They have the new OLED coming in like three weeks at this point uh with metroid dread they're going to want to hype that up again and talk about the new update and what they've added with the bluetooth we're, we're building up to a direct is what it feels like when when all these things start happening like this a lot of them that are flying under the radar nintendo is not really talking about it's probably because it's all leading up to a, an official announcement in a direct and it's just time that we had one anyway okay that's it for now i i just i i had to talk about all this stuff otherwise i would just be questioned out of existence on twitter and on my live stream so I, I hope this satisfies you i really do enjoy talking about this stuff though and getting a chance to just speak at a mile a minute because i do get excited about a lot of this stuff uh hit the bell as well please by the way and uh subscribe if you're new and like the video if stuff like this helps you out and yeah see you soon I don't have a way to end the video, so it's just going to end here.